starting to build up the pace. But early game, I worry a little bit for five man from PC. For sure. And they're continuously building into this. After you've shown the DP, I mean, it's obviously going to be pushing heroes from here on. I was thinking maybe a Jiro, maybe a Rasta. Rasta does indeed come out. A nice thing that we should mention about Invoker Lone Druid as well is that they have the Alacrity onto their bear. Oh, Very yes. strong combination, both for pushing but also for fighting too. The damage on the bear gets pretty high and with the attack speed, you're guaranteed to get some roots. Hero you can with as last here. What kind of carry? I was thinking Luna Weaver. Yeah, that could be tough for Lone Druid. Weaver is just one of those heroes that lock onto Londred and you can't really get rid of him. Super annoying. Like you have Stag Storm and Echo Slam, but mm -hmm. those are ulties that you'd have to expend just to try and catch Weaver, right? And if one of them fails, then it's all Ten seconds downhill from but there. But that speaks volume. The fact that they have those tools, which are pretty damn good at killing the Weaver, and still they respect it yep. enough that they want to get rid of it. He speaks to how strong they think it is. And of course, Virtus Pro, notoriously a team that plays Weaver in the past, they always enjoyed this hero. What kind of uh, hero we're going to see? You mentioned the Luna, right? Still think mm -hmm. that's I still think, good here. I still think it's an option. They could go into the Terror Blade since they have the Repel as well. Sure, there are Illusion Clears, but it could be done. That's a lot of push. It's going to be the Luna. All right. Fair so enough. that that's the most expected. I was a little bit surprised that they banned the Weaver over it. So it looks so natural. The the five men of Virtus Pro is, uh, you know, it's it's beautiful. <laughs> Italian but, kiss. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> the chef's kiss. He did he did the, uh, the movement as well. Team Team Secret is, uh, however, aiming to drag the game out a little bit longer. It's gonna be super important that Secret get a strong laning phase. Whereas Virtus Pro, if they don't have the best laning phase, they can still recover into it and get a farm Luna going for the mid game late game. But if Team Secret struggle in the early, Ooh. it's going to be tough. Oh, the Phoenix! I was going to ask about Darkseer here. Mm. Was there a good vacuum into, you know, Static Storm, Meatball, Tornado combos? But, yeah. The Phoenix here, what does this bring to the table for Secret that maybe, you know, something like a Darkseer or, you know, a Magnus or whatever else? You know, Doesn't... Phoenix is number one on my list on offlane heroes that I need to learn because they're quite strong in this patch and I don't know them well enough. Mm. Uh, I've seen a lot of teams use this, and Phoenix on the offlane does. A lot of damage with the easy execution. You just dive in and do tons of damage into the enemy team. The thing is, he can build into Aeon Disc as well later on, which makes him almost impossible to burst before the egg comes. I think this is just securing their high ground defense primarily, but could also be pesky in the laning state. I want to say that this is a tough lane to bother, though. The Rasta Luna it doesn't get much more juicy than that on the safe lane with roaming as well. See if he can do any form of damage in the laning stage, because that's the only issue I have with Phoenix. How do you win that? Yeah, it definitely feels like Secret throughout the draft have kind of ramped themselves up into this kind of mid-game timing. Uh, we, we've, we've seen mind control on Liquid bring out the Phoenix from time to time though, and I've, no, matter, no matter what happens, I'm always surprised at how much damage Phoenix does. You know, you're talking about it and it's kind of clicking in my head. You know, you've got the Fire Spirits, extra damage with the Talent, you can go for a Veil build if you want to, and just really pump it out there. Very often we do see that talent. The talent is destructive. It kills creep waves extremely fast, and you can kill t uh, the enemy heroes yeah, like it's not. What do you have? You've got Spell Amp, potentially. GPM is pretty good, but then G you've got Fire Spirit's DPS as well. It tends to be GPM into the Fire Spirit DPS, yeah. into cast range on the Icarus dive, and then it's situational. Um, Sunray's pretty good with the bear. Yeah, Sunray is very nice, but the Supernova hit count can obviously be make or break. And if you go Aghanims, it's just impossible. You cannot kill the egg. It's, it's so many auto attacks needed. Incredible. Classic BP smoke down mid, get Ward in, contest this bottom bounty rune as Poppy is the lone hero down here. Spotted out by Pasha, he sees him across the way. Jungle. Oh, he's taking the right path here. Could be dangerous if he runs back, and oh, he does, dear. he's gonna go down. Hush has scared him, lured him into a oh, trap. Oh no! Puppy, you've been found! Spirit Siphon and Shackles. Well, who do they give the first one? <laughs> Good luck, you guys! <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. Have fun! <laughs> Basha, you Basha. So, first blood over to VP. Smoke works out, and we've 
Uh, that's like the first one we've seen in a long time. So often, you know, you have the heroes kind of hiding down in this spot, trying to break the smoke coming in. But VP changed things up with the mid. The have begins. fun, mid one. <laughs> Lil. Talkative one. This yeah. Little task. Yeah, I mean, the same, same is true for mid one. Mid one is never late to, uh, you know, add some stuff in all chat. No problem, Ping. But he, he forgot to switch his account. That's what the thing we're talking about. It. It is Fatha. Phoenix, all the venom on the Phoenix up the top. Yapzor will be helping out. You're Special telling blocking. me he, he was smurfing, Gareth? Yes. Oh no. Smurfing. Smurfing in my 2018. <laughs> Ruining games. Oh, puppy? In Six trouble shots. a little bit. Taking damage and he's not going to get away, I think. He's oh, just dead. He thought he could maybe get up the ramp. Prize with a kinetic field, but again, dead. And again, Lil gives the kill to no one, so they're giving such a strong advantage here. Two kills already on no one. And a bounty room. Before a single CS has been taken by Invoker, no one is already getting so, so far ahead here. He's got null wand and almost a second null coming out. Yeah, that's quite a bit of items already. So mid one in a 1v2. Tusk hits level two, so the snowball is now here. If mid one oversteps, they'll start with the shards, but one is in a pretty defensive position there. A little unable capitalize on that so dual lanes out from secret on both of the side lanes here yep they need penguin top they need level two on phoenix before they can really do anything though that's the downside he has taker a dive but that's mainly just a defensive tool and uh shaker not really finding a place where he can have an impact right now oh little just barely missing the shards there pushed out the invoker instead of pull them in i think it's because of the they, they got the kill on the forge so mid one's laning present Removed a little bit here as a nice little fisher from Yapsor saves the Phoenix for now. Has the Icarus dive to get away, and Solo might just drop to this. A couple more punches from Yapsor will secure it for the Lucent Beam from Ramses. Keep Solo at arm's reach. Oh, now the Tango regen kicking so in with fast. a salve. Nope. Doesn't have one. It was the clarity that was popped. No salve there for Solo. Uh, Shaker at 350 movement speed. Rasta at 285. Quite a big difference. You get run down and quite easily there. What about this bottom lane then? Pasha, 1v1 against Ace for now. Puppy really hasn't had an impact. Pasha played this Omni Knight in the game against SP as well. The, you know, a little bit of comfort. Oh, sure. No ball, yeah, so. Didn't get trapped by the shards, but the shackles. Perfect in. A uh, casual Sunstrike there from mid one. Bit of a waste of mana, right? Oh, he's got a regen. Never mind, never mind. He's got a regen rune going. It's fine. No waste at all. <laughs> Perfect efficiency for mid one. How dare I talk bad? The master of. He knows what he's doing. You know, playing there, just trying to secure the Luna farm again. Luna's still getting a lot of CS here, though, but Phoenix smash to get his way to level 3. Too bad of a start. Two points in the Fiery Spirits. Solo is really feeling the burn there. And the force of the Icarus dive. That's a pretty long cooldown. And Fisher used to try and block this creep wave up a little bit. It is. They're a little bit too low HP to do anything, though, and Rasta just ate his last tango. He's down to only one branch as his inventory. <laughs> uh, so they're going to be forced back, and no HP region on Ramses. They need to send a courier up here the with cl some... Classic solo net worth, lol. 250. He knows. Most of his, most of his monetary value is safe, though. Position Actual. 6. Cash. Matter now. Dive is up again. Get the Fiery Spirits over onto Solo. Still hiding in the trees, ah, dodges out from another one. He dodges all three, but he's taking some right clicks. Uh, not really gonna get too much done there. The uh, mid lane right now, 12 denies on this Prophet. Getting quite far ahead, the Invoker. Faster. Lucent Beam secures it. Very nicely done there. Even with the Fisher block, they had the range. Kill. Uh, also something that I, I wanted to kind of bring up in the draft, but forgot about it mid-sentence or something like that, but the, the range of initiation here from C is super long, right? They've got Glimpse, they've got Fisher, they've got the Icarus Dive, once you get that talent as well, is very long range. Oh, the solo. block. Ooh, hello. Solo is going to go down. That's true, they have a very long range that they can initiate from or even counter-initiate from. Uh, that's a nice tool to have. And then they have the Sunstrike, of course, yeah. to add in on all that. Nicely. Especially good against, you know, Lunar and DP, who... Kind of like to stand still in a fight, right? They, they want to... Maybe not DP, but Luna definitely just wants to plonk herself down, get Glaives bouncing. Uh, maybe when you're pushing towers, DP is a similar story. You know, you get up to the tower with your exorcism going. That long-range initiation definitely can catch you off guard. DPing mid. Found no one here a little bit with a double damage rune. Maybe look for a kill. As Pasha rooted bottom. 
was looking for the purification kill on the bear. Could have been close. Quick entangling roots into Pasha. Savage Roar. Just about to get his uh, soul ring delivered soon. Gonna be very nice for him. He's gonna go for a shrine use. Heal up first. Uh, he's doing quite well on this Omni Knight against the hole. He needs the shackles. So much damage. Like I said, this, this lame combo has so much uh, kill potential that I was struggling to see how Phoenix was going to get too good of a game. But still, he can't complain about this. 13 CS. Got a lot of help from the Shaker and did quite all right for himself. So when Solo stands next to Ramsey, level 1 Luna Blessing, he has close to 100 damage. One, average 100 range damage mid Pasha coming in with the heal as well gank here Fisher is gonna cut off the DP but doesn't really matter low is too strong damage that was a nice rotation by Pasha after going to his shrine he just ran towards mid and now he comes in bottom lane and guess what it's pushed on his tower <laughs> yeah. lots of range creeps here they're doing a decent chunk of damage holding the wave back with the bear Pasha will come in but Thunderstrike from Poppy, and now the harass from the bear sends him back to where he came. I'm surprised he hasn't sent out his soul ring yet. He's waiting so much with it. Maybe the someone courier, but it's actually just a free tier one. To be, I don't know if he can stop that in any single way. So many creeps as well. With a catapult on top of it all, Solo gets away with murder there. Steals the bounty rune. Yep, so and unable to him or kill him. Ace with the phase boots. Brand pressure on this bottom lane. What's Yapso doing? Yeah, Yapso. Uh, that's not your creep wave. Give, yeah, give he's it to, doing some pulling, messing around here. Uh, yeah, give some experience here to Phoenix, who's level 5 already. Once they have that ulti, they definitely want to make use of it. They switch Lone Ruin top now immediately after taking the tower on bottom. So they want to keep getting all these tier 1 towers using the power of the Lone Ruin Demolish. He has it. No one's rotation quite catching Puppy. They give him bottom lane experience. Get him some boots as well. He's got the money for it. Has to be careful though. Tools. Could quickly get run down by Pasha. Puppy. Easiest. Top. We see Lil kind of walking oh. around here, but they see him. Yeah. Both teams have wards here. Really good vision for Dyer. A double observe ward in the top lane, in fact. Quick dive away from Fata as the Ice Shards trap Yapsor in. They cut the trees though, so Earthshaker gets a bit of distance. A nice savage roar. A lot of spells, but no one really gonna go down to this. Team's kind of sticking around, and the Roots got pretty lucky there with a Fisher kill. Expect that, thank you. No one expects the Root. And it comes. Where's the DP gone? So DP makes another movement down toward Bounty Runes, get the double. Hope for no one. Yeah, he's, he's take both the runes down here and Lone Druid not clear. So a, a lot of space for the mid one invoker. Oh, puppy. Can you glimpse no one away this time? He tries for it and will succeed, but still the double bounty rune there for the DP. But mid one's invoker now with Fred's Aqua complete and a magic wand. He's come back really strongly into this lane after a you know, devastating start. He definitely has, and this is sort of the, the right click invoker builds, almost reminiscent of the double forge spirit build that we saw in the past people some people were doing the uh, desolator build just uh but just the threats is gonna allow him to stand his ground and fight a little bit more reminiscent of the old fatter invo exactly no not not the not the mech one <laughs> but the uh oh yeah the he's had a few staff, the, the midas skip the mech one fatter's thing mech trying mech, mech on anything. every single oh i wonder if specter is a mech hero i mean he he Single-handedly created the SF mech meta around DAC. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he played it on on Dragon Knight, on Fraser, and on SF around. Quite successful. And then mech got nerfed, more mana costs. Now it's not really a thing anymore. SF got nerfed as well. Down the drain with that hero. Good Fisher. Lock the DP. Cold Snap is there, but the Forge Spirit is dead. So a Spirit Siphon quickly out from no one will buy some time. So no Luna. She wants to protect this uh, creep wave here. She's pushing in behind the tower. This could be dangerous though if someone counter TPs. They're gonna get the Phoenix. They're so quick about it. Yeah. Hex, Lucent Beam, set up for Shackles really nicely. It's tons of damage. Bottom lane, root in, Pasha caught, has repel. Just One more root. Glimpse, though, doesn't it happening? He? Could still get now? the root if he gets lucky, but the Dejin Aura just barely keeping the bear at bay. Three points in the Dejin Aura is 
almost enough that he can just run away without the bear ever hitting him. No one back into the jungle. Yet to see an exorcism come out of him. But the shrine, yeah, ready in seven seconds. Both teams getting pretty much everything they need here in the early game. Interesting thing to note is that Poppy actually has quite a few CS on his disruptor. He's got 18 CS. He's yeah. been farming away quite a bit here with the pulse. Lone Druid left bot lane and then he got the farm bot lane a little bit, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Three times. So Ace, pretty standard build. Phase boots on his hero, brown boots on the bear. Maybe a little bit slower than some of the kind of Midas rush builds that we into the Radiance. It's but just it... stronger in the early game. You want to value being powerful so that you don't just accidentally die on the most important hero in your team. You can get behind that decision. It's a really nice farm spread again from Steam Secret. Not just the Poppy Disrupt farm, but you look at Yapsor. All Ring and Tranquil's already up. 2-1-1. One and one. He's died once this game, so he's keeping a lot of the gold in his pocket, not wasting it for death. So the Blink Dagger looks like it's going to be here at a reasonable time. You know, pre-20 minutes, potentially. For, for sure. Supporter. Could be. That is very big indeed because they need to hold, like we talked about earlier, they need to hold the aggression that is going to come out from VP. We're still expecting VP to be the ones to start activating and pushing towers. Front where, foot forward. Whereas Secret are going to be the ones to try and delay that. But uh, at least Secret managed to take the bottom tier one first with a lone druid. Ooh. Ace has Maelstrom Cuda. Yeah, not going for the Radiance. Even more faster paced, trying to build up here as mid lane meet fall in onto the fish of the snowball, trying to save no one but the echo slam from Yapsor. Lil, you tried to save, but you put them in danger and glimpse back into his death means that a double kill there for mid one secures him a ton of gold. Can finish off his drums very shortly. It's just one more case of Yapsor being on point in a good position and mid one super happy to get all those kills there. He alacrity himself up with the power treads and he's hitting like a monster. He's got drums act. With 700 gold spare. He does have them. Yeah. So, uh, getting getting a nice early game uh, build up here for every single core hero. Making sure that they are not weak in the early game. Meanwhile, the Phoenix, of course, still saving for Midas. Pasha going for the rundown on Puppy, who has no TP. Oh, Puppy. But he has been. No, uh, no need to really chase there. Phoenix nearby. So Phoenix is the one going for the hand of Midas. You, know, you look at Invoker, Lone Druid, and Phoenix, and you're like, all three of them could feasibly go Midas. It's kind of standard builds for them. I think Invoker goes back for Midas after his drums, though. Okay. It's just a fighting item first, I think, and then he's going to go back for it, most likely. To have a draw sends the Luna back from the tier one. Again, Secret defending these towers really nicely, but Exorcism oh, is here, the and they're going to kill the bear. 300 no. golds going the way of Luna. That is so much money for, uh, for you know, mismatch. Bill coming in, Bill trying to defend, Fisher onto the Luna, in comes the bear, the second one this time, focusing Ramses. Strom will strike, but uh, thinking about this dive into Supernova, the potential is definitely mid, there. But... At the same time, they're going to invoke her, so mid one gets hexed up, snowballed in. Nice cold snap. Oh, he gets away, Turn with the he's turning it, the Fisher is there and mid one's alive, the Lucent Beam won't be enough. Sunstrike, does he have it? So he has it, he gets it. Sunstrike, Lil. Oh my. God, mid one, you beast. He gets ganked and gets two kills and walks away. His team is like, okay, okay. That was godly. A little bit unfortunate for him that they didn't get the ice shards the way they wanted, but holy crap. I mid love mid the one laugh. Is actually so good. Invoke your laughs as well yeah. as he gets the double kill. <laughs> like, haha, you tried to kill me. Well, they're going on ace. Missed the shots now. Supernova comes out and VP have to retreat. The entangling claws come through with a savage roar and ace. Finds another kill. Secret hitting their stride in this game. As Puppy comes in with a ward, has a static storm they ready to go. Here. They want to go on Pasha. Where's the silence? In they go. Start things off. He's got the Repel. Pops TP. it off with a TP. And Try for the root. Root not uh, coming. He will get out. This is so massive. Like I said, Secret needs to have a good laning stage. This is far beyond what I meant uh, when I was saying that. This is such a great start for the Invoker. Not even going for Midas now. He's just going for Aghanims as soon as possible. And he's going to have it. He's halfway there already. This is looking like a great timing. And I uh, must say, they have had a little bit of a trouble connecting the Ice Shards the way they wanted to. A lot of times, the enemy hero has just barely been on outside of the range and yep. they walk away. Top and... I think three times on mid, they have kind of missed. A little, little out of sort. 
Secret though, really hammering away in this game with another catch on to Pasha. They'll kill the Omni. And we thought that Virtus Pro, or I, I'm not going to put your name on this, but I definitely thought that Virtus Pro here in the oh, first sure. 15, 60 minutes would be. I'll you know, sign that. I definitely yeah. believed so, but. Knocking on the doors secrets, of towers, pushing hard. Secret are the ones who are just outplaying them right now. They're definitely taking control because their heroes are not even meant to be stronger at this very moment. But Lone Druid adding a lot of power, and then the fact that mid one survived on that mid gank, these are all implications from that, right? They took the top tower because of it. They got the kill on Omni Knight because of it. They got the kill, uh, you know, like a lot of things happened due to the fact that Invoker didn't die there. Well, knock on effects happening. Ramsey's Mask of Manus into the Manta style, standard classic stuff. Phoenix finished off the hand of Midas, moving into the Shiva Guard now, it looks like. But I I really just want to see Virtus Pro, you know, utilize a smoke, get some action going with more than just a couple of support heroes they'll clear out these ancients for now for ramses but solo holding these serpent wards he's hit level six you look at the map and not a single tier one has fallen they've all kind of been chipped away at secret have defended top tier one really nicely which might might be the sticking point here for vp you know they, they kept trying and trying top tier one kept getting pushed back and pushed back maybe it's time to go and revisit that little scenario again for themselves so the one thing we need to keep in mind is that Luna is farming up a lot right now. She's getting to a point where she's going to have a Manta style extremely early. And this is a very important pushing component. Could be interesting seeing exactly how this is going to play out. Ramsey's born in 1999. Uh, he, he is very young. He's very young, isn't he? I don't know if he's... Yeah, that, that could be true, right? Guy, he's 10 years younger than me. Yeah, I know. I was thinking exactly. <laughs> I was born in 89 and I'm oh, like... Oh, you too? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Good year. Damn good it year. It is a good year. Oh, uh, yeah. Rams is the kid. <laughs> I saw a clip of him earlier. He was sitting and screaming at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Funny little man. Yeah. Oh. Uh, he is very talented, that's for sure. Getting uh, a lot of responsibility in this game that he has to hard carry and uh, do the do the work here on the Luna. But so far, looking great. The Courier might be a dangerous path. Oh, Fata gets caught. Ramses moves in, and this will be a kill and likely a tower here for Virtus Pro. They group it up as five, they got something will be. done. However, as always, the Lone Druid on point, split pushing, gonna get a tier two for this, so definitely the bigger trade for him. And there's no point in TPing up here, it's not gonna be in time. Even if they did TP, Shaker is sitting there, lurking, waiting for some. Blink ready, 17 minutes in. Yes. Done. Agonims for the Invoker now. These timings for Secret looking very good. As VP, you know, you were mentioning that Pasha, we saw his Omni Knight the other day. No fun build for him this time. You know, no Radiance, no messing around with that. Going for the Ether Lens, kind of realizing that he's not hes not one of those, you know, carry poor Omni Knight. He really is there to save his DP, save his Luna, make sure that they can accomplish this that they require. I think Ether Lens is a smart choice, especially since there's so long range of initiation on the side of Secret. So this just allows him to save his teammates from a little bit farther back. Oh, meanwhile, he's actually going to get brought down. See that? <laughs> I was looking top because uh, they used to, are moving in on top lane. I was they like, used oh, to just wrap their ulti to kill him. And now Lone Red, are you going to get away? He uses a nice spear. Nice now charge this time. Land. Collecting the way they need to. That's a big kill for them for sure. In comes mid one. mid one. In comes mid one. Meatball, Deafening Blast, and the Blink Echo. Yeah, so it's caught the both big calls. Finally, the Eclipse will come out with the Supernova's landing. And this is Team Secret wiping that freaking floor with Verse Pro. Not safe yet. They have so to keep long. running. Are you out? Two in a seconds. Second. They've got the vision. They have this solo kill. Maybe they want Lil instead. Now they'll drag back the Rasta. Down you go, Rasta man. No more dancing for you as mid one kills Lil with a Sunstrike. We should have looked at that instead because oh that was Lord. a sicker pick off as <laughs> yeah. Team Secret. They've got to be super happy with the On way things are panning way, out. On my way, says Fada. Yep, that's definitely true. That Sunstrike maxed out level, of course, with the Agonims as well. Super strong damage. Okay, hand emoji. This is looking tough. Already some... High ground damage gonna be dealt. They lost their lone druid, but they get so much back in return. What now for secret? Back up, play the map. Plenty of farm to be had. Mid lane and back in the radiant jungle as Ace is trying to finish off the radiance. So Maelstrom into radiance. Not something that I've seen in a hell of a long time, honestly. Today, Very farm oriented build, yeah. Today has been the day about talking history of Dota, right? <laughs> a little bit, yeah. And this this build is definitely 
packing a lot of magical damage, which is pretty good against Luna, who has so much armor. So easier way to lay into her a little bit if we're looking away from just the fact that it's farming tools as well. And at the point when he does get the eventual Aghanims on Lundrid, it's going to be quite helpful to have both those items. Tons of them. Mid oh, one. Oh, they pop dust. Almost gets dusted there. Hidden. The rest of the secret look like they want to come in. This one dire observer ward boxed out. Kind of aggression, though, if they were to pop out of their smoke. He's going to find an Arcan rune. Quickly just snagging it and moving away as the smoke is coming in here from VP. VP going for the Roshan. Puppy sees it. Gonna glimmer and run. So now we have to think twice about it. DP seem to be a little bit outmatched every time here by uh, by the tiny movements of Secret. Yeah, we were... Oh, Puppy, though. Heck, glimmered. Can they catch him and chase him, though? Tornado's good from mid one. In onto the Omni Knight. Meatballs dropped, but this is exorcism from no one. Now Ramses needs to get into battle to finish off Puppy, and he will succeed. The Sunstrike not quite connecting there to finish off Pasha. Pro move into the pit. That was the fight that VP needed. Now they can start in on Roshan. I like no one's positioning here, standing outside the pit. Still deal damage with the Exorcism. He was kind of hugging the wall to be as close as possible, but, but not in the pit. Secret. Yeah, Roshan secret. is still alive. The free Absor with that slam. MP. Gonna get dodged a little bit there by VP. They've got the Eclipse coming through to try and deal with the bear, but ooh, no one is dealing with mid one, forcing him back. Aegis claimed Supernova taken out as well. And Secret not really getting too much until the oh. blink forward yules into the air. No Echo Slam now for Yapsor as he's cleared up by Virtus Pro. The entangling claws onto no one, not accomplishing too much. No one is always playing so clutch. He's such a such a dangerous player in these uh, positions. He managed to have high ground vision onto the Earth Spirit or Earth Shaker by uh, the Observer Ward that they planted earlier, and he gets that quick yules the moment he jumps in. Little return kill in the end there. They do get, of course, the Aegis. Luna, who's building into the BKB. This is starting to assemble the pushing mechanism that yeah. we were talking about. They're having their uh, full five man coming together soon. The secret, they have to be very proactive at this point in the game. They need to shove out every single creep wave whenever they can. Invoker and Mulgrid have to be really active. That's probably why he went for the Maelstrom into the Radiance build, trying to be even stronger at shoving the lanes back. Yeah. If you had the Midas, there would have been, you know, a longer lap, a longer kind of bit of downtime for this lone druid. But much nicer being involved with everything in the uh, we, we were looking at Secret's kind of range of initiation and but then kind of realizing the VP don't have that. They're much more of a set up as five onto an objective yeah. and force the team to come into them. Outside of that, they have Tusk Snowball. They have good really reactive. They have good react heroes with the snowball yeah. save and with the Omni Knight in the team. So they have two different ways of saving people, and that's great whenever you have a DP. This is a typical thing that we see. We saw a DP being played earlier in the group stage where there was no save, and that just makes it so difficult to play it. Uh, but in this game, definitely there are good tools. One thing I want to point out is Phoenix does have the Fire Spirits that DPS and very, very close to Shivas. Almost has the entire thing. Bombed batter on that. But yeah. we see a four staff on top of the ether lens for the Omni. Again, just playing into all of extending the range at which he can save his DP and the Luna. Them back up, clipped, ready. Aegis, two minutes and 40 seconds until it's reclaimed, so plenty of time for BP to yeah. toy around with this, especially with no one's BKB arriving. They need to start doing it now, though. They have to just go down the bottom lane. And already, you can see this is why I was talking about split pushing. Phoenix just already shoving in top. He's going to push one more wave. So if you want to push the bottom tier two tower, it's going to be difficult to do so. They're probably opting for mid instead. Going up for it. Forge Spirit's here now for mid one. Alacrity on one of them sends them forward. Doing a bit of chip damage there to no one, forcing a purification. Ramses, look at his positioning. He's going in. He wants to try and get a bit of damage onto this tower. Force some spells out of mid one. Some use out of this age it's a nice repel keeps the damage and the mana burn at bay for now 5v5 mid who's gonna come out on top it's a glimpse snowball nicely played by lil dodges out from the static storm play as well so poppy overreaching there that's one tool gone for secret now if they want to defend this it could be difficult luna dropping a little bit low and doesn't have mana for too much here respecting the blink echo though and 
Invoke a combos as well, it feels like. A little bit surprised to see that they're backing out after the Disruptor ulti was expended there. Be interesting if they kept pushing. <clears throat> the Phoenix does have the Shivas and queuing up a BKB next, so not going for the Ether Lens or Ether Aeon Disc. Ether Lens Phoenix, that would be quite... especially. <laughs> We, we, we saw it a couple of times, like, fly pick, back, back, back before it was changed. Yeah, uh, when it was still doing spell damage. Yes. I, I meant in this patch, it's yeah, gonna yeah. be... <laughs> oh, they're going for the kill. Sunstrike connects cleanly onto Lil. But Luna coming in with the ulti, not gonna Doesn't connect at all. cleanly at all, no. And uh, the glimmers there, no detection. No TP, though, for Puppy. They have detection coming. Echo Slam in the back, they put out a big target. It looks like Pasha will fall. Puppy and Pasha, double P. Taken out of the game, tornado. Oh, not long enough range uh, to catch if had a, solo. If he had one or two more points in Wex there, would have gotten him. It's actually a Hurricane Pike build on the Invoker. This is purely because the Ice Shards and the Spirit Siphon yeah. affect the rundown from uh, BP is quite annoying. Even the DD and Aura. You don't want to get trapped or uh, held back by it. It's giving himself a chance to build for stuff. Once you get hit by one, the rest of them. Exactly, exactly. all in. of them will just lay in on you and you can't get away. Still time. Solo. They have reached a tier 2 tower though. Finally, Serpent Ward's down, but Aegis is about to expire. Like two seconds from now, it's going to get taken away from the hands of Ramses. Cold Snap just stopped up. at least, so he regens to full HP. Always something for him. Howard falls as Fata moves. Catch. One's there though, a five man group up. Fruition. But Virtus Pro still toying with the idea of fighting in this radiant jungle. Yeah, they they still want to look for something. They don't want this game to drag out too long, because in the in the very late game scenario, I don't think they're too comfortable going into this. They're not too weak either. It's like Luna is a she is the hardest carry in this game by quite a margin. It's just that you might not get to fight in the late game. There's going to be so much split pushing by Invoker and Lone Druid that you won't do anything. Team's kind of staring up here mid. We just saw mid one queue up Boots of Travel as well. Again, playing into that split push factor. He moves on, looking for a glimpse or so. Invertus Pro playing together though as a tight knit unit. Illusion Rune from Yap's door tries to hold out the top wave. Secret just so good at defending their towers like bottom lane uh, again we come back to this point where teams just they, they don't care strategically too much about bottom lane towers it's nice gold it's nice to get access to jungle areas and stuff like that but the uh, only towers that vp have gone though they've yeah. defended really valiantly on the mid and the top lane yeah, exactly oh. uh, especially radiant side right mid and top lane with a the shrine there available roshan is super nice to pp toward he has all that control and Gonna matter quite a bit if they can't take these tier one towers before Roche respawns. That can be annoying. They're gonna go down mid though with the BKB. They have to be careful not to get chain burst. That repel does get used here. So gonna take the tower drain. They were not quite getting it, and Yapsul was really nicely kind of edging out there, making sure he doesn't get hit by the glaives as they bounce across. Waiting for a flink echo opportunity. Now buying a smoke for himself. Link's four staff ready. Yapso really could be that pivotal initiation hero that Secret needs to start a fight. Yeah, that's why he's going for the Shadow Blade as well. Just trying to be able to really find whoever they want to initiate on. If they don't counter initiate, that is. Of course, Shaker fits that role extremely well too. Secret are the ones who want to move up mid a little bit. They're both drawing where they think the enemy team could be. Both of them are wrong <laughs> right now. Uh, playing with a lot of respect for each other. Oh, Chaco onto the bear. Gonna try and kill it. Not the easiest kill. It's gonna get healed up. Got a strong heal on the bear. Up to almost full HP. Lil doing some split pushing bottom. He's actually pushing in a way that he doesn't show himself on the minimap. Quite annoying. Always they pay attention and look mm -hmm. down to see the ice shot spying. Only that wave is just pushing where you expected it to go the other way. What are we looking at talent wise here? Yapzor, level 15, nothing spectacular there. The Phoenix closing in on level 20 though with that Icarus dive range, as well as Invoker, level 80, like it's so weird. With no hand of Midas on him, but a Midas on the Phoenix, they're equal in level. But the level 20 there, alacrity, damage, and speed, super strong. You know, you look at Cataclysm and it's like, 
Oh, that's a pretty cool spell. Global vision, you know where your enemies are, but one cooldown and no real uh, great in, like, sort of in-game real uses. I'm actually going to disagree with you. I think that Cataclysm is, is going to be his choice here. We'll see. They might, of course, go for the Alacrity due to the bear in his team, but there are many really good uses for it. One, you can use it as a scouting tool the same way you use a Zeus ulti. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you don't really suffer that much from it because you're still in Volker. You have tons of other spells that you can rely on, so it's not like Zeus where you suffer so much for not having the ulti. You're still powerful. And other than that, they have a lot of Disable, and with a Shiva slow as well, I think the Cataclysm could come into a big play in this game. I guess VP grouping up as well means that they're likely to land a couple of big but, bits of damage. But primarily, it's a good tool to scout the smoke yep. and the movements of the enemy. Because uh, it very very accurately pinpoints, and it's a very nice little siren sound when you uh, call out where the enemy are. Like, yep, you're right See there. You. Where the sunshine is landing. Bring it to the BKB now for mid one. Boots travel. Almost Aghanims on Phoenix boat. That's an interesting spell. So, the Aghanim's Phoenix ulti refreshes every single spell of Invoker. Something to keep in mind. It does refresh spells, but not ultis. But Invoker, well, he doesn't actually have an ulti, right? He has Invoke. So, um, very good combination if he does it on him. Also, just to save anyone who gets grabbed, of course. Serpent so Ward and Exus have been used here to get into the Roshan. Thinking about going in. A quick snowball onto the bear. We'll keep Lil alive for now. Four staff oh, out by the time. But DP going in deep. There's a static storm in the pit. Roshan's falling. No one pops his BKB. The blink echo. Yapsol moves in. That is killed off the Roshan, but Ramses gets the Aegis. Now the long range shackles onto Puppy. Moves them back. Yapsol, the only casualty so far, but they will catch the disruptor now. As Virtus Pro, the five man movement across, playing as a unit. Get themselves the Aegis Cheese on Luna. Roshan killed, and now they move towards Tier 2s. This is quite bad. They do still have the Phoenix ulti, but other than that, they expanded both the Disruptor and the Shaker ulti. Gonna have to rely on Invoker to defend his high ground. They tried to steal the Aegis, but the Shaker ulti didn't stun the Luna. Now, Yule's up. Mid one in trouble. Silence. The Guardian Angel from VP is there, but the shards don't block mid one in. So Push it out. The supernova is doing a lot of work, but the right click damage. The other hits are coming in. Take down the Fata Phoenix as Ramses holds his ground on. It's high ground ramp. And down the tier three. And Virtus Pro have suddenly kicked into gear yeah, and they're the taking down the buildings. They've got the Aegis still. The cheese has been passed over to no one's death profit, but the creeps are gone. They're they have coming to in wait now, for the new wave to come in. Nice tornado. After the initiation from Yabzor, and they force out Ramses, so he's glimpsed back into danger. But he's got a hurricane fight him pushing him away. The snowball save Look as well. The savage roar won't do enough. And now they turn back onto the bear. Yabzor jumps in. He gets the hit onto Ramses and forces the Aegis out. But Virtus Pro, they've got yeah, more tools at their me. disposal. They don't have BKB Luna, but they should have a repel coming out. The repel was used. It's not going to be enough to bring down the Luna until the glimpse oh, into the waiting to arms. But there's no reveal. Oh no, they got the glimpse. That would have been kill if they just had a some sentry. detection there. After all that hard fighting, all those spells being used to save her, finally when she should be dead, it is just that glimmer that saves her this time. No buybacks used by Secret though. Losing a tier 3 there it's and keeping Arax alive seems still like a, a reasonably good job defending high ground against they, Aegis Cheese. They did do a good job holding, but still Ramses, you know, and his squad can be happy about themselves. They took Roshan, they then took tier 2, they then took tier 3, and in the end, what really died, they were the only ones getting kills. They got Disruptor, they got Phoenix, and they got Shaker. That's and really the entire trade that we have witnessed. So not a single good thing for Secret. So they need to do more job of preventing these five-man scenarios, because you see the strength of uh, a VP lineup right there. I guess the latter stages of that was without exorcism, right? Now it's That's back true. up. The VP can think about going again with BKBs and Eclipse. Like, VP made that push without ultis, basically. Moving up high ground to take tier three. Uh, so. Luna doesn't really need ulti to push. She just runs up and starts attacking. Now having the butterfly as well. Gonna be a nice thing for her. Of course, uh, Enchan Totem still always hits. Always something with Shaker. He can't miss her. Get some more damage on Yapsaw. Get the crit. Get the Daedalus. Oh. coming in. Blink Echo. Who have they found here? Um, Snowball. We'll save up no one. It looks like with the BKB turnaround as well. 
Goodbye, Yapsor, and maybe more as Phoenix chased down with the silence still going. Bata has no Icarus dive. He's going to be forced to ulti soon, but he's going to be able to TP instead. Do they have a stun? They've got a punch. No, the shards will come, but not any kind of finishing move. But now they focus the bear. Chased down by the snowball, which will connect and kill They're by the They're trying to reach beam. the hero as well. He's got to try for a TP in the corner. Can Charts. they stop him? Yules. Yeah, they can. I've got the vision. Ace. And immediately, you do not have any time to waste. Invoker has to push out the other lanes. They're going to go down a lane right now. 70 seconds on Lone Druid. There's going to be a timing window right here for Virtus Pro. Uh, sure, they use the DP ulti. But like I said, Luna does not need to have an ulti or anything to push. But she still does have hers. Scary here for Secret. Really is. Pressure is coming. Your racks are already exposed. Feels like they kind of want to fight outside base if they want to defend, but I think they're going to have to suffer one one Rax at least going down here. Unless mid one can pull some magical miracles. Repel going to stop any attempts for now, and I think they can easily come in and take this. He could be up in 12 seconds for Luna. Use the Glyph here. A nice little play on the Luna. The defensive cooldowns are being forced. Force staff, Repel. Purification, they're just spamming spells now though, Secret, trying to keep BP away from these racks, but with the so glaives tough. bouncing through, it will be inevitable that they get taken down, but they can't shift top. Maybe could think about shifting mid with Exorcism down for 50 seconds though, it looks like a BP happy with the racks they've taken. Move to shrines, control bot lane, and think about the push in about a minute. They're immediately moving for the next lane here, yeah. They will have their ulti by the time they reach the enemy base. There's no push on the other lanes for Radiant yet. So, DP are really getting the upper hand here and the momentum that they need to uh, take one more set of racks. Cheese is still available for DP as well. In a backpack for now. We'll see if she swaps it in after using Hood or something like that. This game has been the opposite of what I expected. Quite has been, yeah. <laughs> but that early game VP... win for Secret and then mid to late game win for VP so far. But this is roughly the timing that we should expect for the high ground push anyway. As soon as Luna has the butterfly is really when you start looking, can Secret hold on? This is definitely looking like a tough tough uh, order for them. They are queuing up the Aghanims on Lone Druid, so he wants to start pushing harder. But push is already here. Four staffing up. Ramsey's one's in. Never scared. He's taking a lot of damage though. BKB is forced out. Yeah, he realizes runs. that he's going to get glimpsed if he doesn't use BKB when he runs away here. So, going to use that one. And they dealt a bit of damage, but doesn't look like they're going to be able to take Rax. Top lane ace thing for maybe a little bit too long. Have to be careful. No damage draw is nice though. There's a hex on the Omni Knight. Where did that come from? Oh, he just pulled it out of his pocket. Pasha has big items and Ace feels the pain, but mid one wants to try and turn his back onto VP with a nice quick kill there over on the tusk, but the lone druid's dead with the bear as well. They choose another the Luna with the Blink Aggro Slam coming in from the app, so they've caught the two! No one. Exorcism is going, but he needs Spirit Cyphers to keep himself alive. They've got Enchant Totem and Yapsil forced down forward. There we go, in onto the Death Prophet, and this is outside the dire base. The this is Virtus Pro, maybe losing a big fight that they cannot come back from. No one dead to a triple kill from no mid one. Oh boy, buybacks might be forced here. They definitely should be. Mid one, no one. <laughs> Hard to keep the names together, but. And we're going behind here with Pasha, getting scouted out by an Illusion here who's being microed. Taker's dead, so he's playing his Illusion as if it's his hero. He's got to contribute in some way. Three, uh, not that dead. is a big buyback to force right there. The Luna now has to play a lot more cautious if they ever attempt to push while she doesn't have buyback up. be uh, quickly game over if you lose a fight. Phoenix with Ags. That Whoa. rotation, you saw the quickness in Secret running all the way up there yeah. to top lane. I was like, oh, Ace is dead. But no, he, he bought enough time juking and trying to TP. That he didn't one. even juke for for that extended period of time. It's just that Secret very quickly made the decision. We're going up there. They're going to go on him and we're going to kill them. And uh, that worked out beautifully for them. Both these teams showing so many sharp edges, you know, in, in their uh, execution. Beautiful to watch. The... Ace Aghanim's on the way that you were talking about earlier. Lone Druid moving towards it, but... amount of time to continue farming up. Not just that, but buyback in the near future, as you just know the Virtus Pro with 
No, next Roshan. Next push. Stronger. There to be split out across the map. Possible. Mid one. Ghost walked up with an Orchid now complete. And he did go for the uh, Alacrity damage and speed, so they're going to have a super strong bear when they want to make plays around that bear, however. Maybe get Brock down here once. Tornado. Saving him. Yeah, it's dead once. The biggest... Oh, actually, it is a little bit of a harm. It's one minute until the resummon. I wonder if they kept track of the uh, summon time. So they probably want to force something right now. They should have known, right? Because they killed exactly. him top they lane him. and then he resummoned when he respawned. Upon a loyal bear immediately after. Probably, like, also the fact that there's no bear out on the map. You know, pushing lanes. VP probably very... Yeah, they should be able... But yeah. the, the timing window for taking advantage of it is starting to disappear. So they had to go sort of immediately if they wanted to play towards that downtime. Seems like they have missed that timing more items. They're finishing a satanic on. Does have the butterfly satanic combination. Getting pretty close to six slotted here, or entirely six slotted, I want to say. Just missing, really. And then. Card. That's about it. Luna won't really change much other than that. I guess Divine Rapier is the final item. But. Let's see where things go. With 45 seconds until Roshan respawning, both teams will be really angling towards that pit, keeping lanes pushed out. River. Maneuver mid, grouping up as five. Considering a smoke, potentially? They're not they're holding on to one on Yapsil here, but it looks I like think they're, they're going to sit behind the Phoenix. I think they're saving it a little bit. For the Roshan. Exactly, but even if they smoke up now, it's going to be for Roshan in a sense, because they will get a kill before Roshan. Uh, this is for spawning very soon. But, uh, one has been pinged. We see the same type of smoke here coming out from BP. They're making the move. Checking Roche Pit. Not up just yet, guys. Five seconds early. Very soon. They run away. Oh shit, coming home. <laughs> Finding anyone yet, but they're in good position to do so. Ace turns into range form. Oh, that could be nasty timing, but they jump fast it instead. The Phoenix is caught. The two-man fish will buy some time. Hexed up now, though. The Phoenix forced away. Can they get him out? No, he's dead. May have to buy back as the big eclipse from Ramsey is chasing down into Ace, but he's TP'd away. Trying to get out of this fight. These have been expended by VP. Big Eclipse, but really only hitting the Lone Druid Bear. Didn't hit anything but that in the entire duration. And but Secret have their ultis. They did control enough to go into Roshan here. At least they feel like it. Invoker, can he get there and do anything about this? I think so. Probably gonna be Aegis, Cheese, and Refresher. The way of Puppy with the Split Push Disruptor. With the ulti. <laughs> there we go. Get that damage, son. Screw you, Creep Wave. I've got four spirits coming in as well. A bit of chip damage here on the tier three, but I think substantial wow. as what, what, what do we have? Aegis Cheese Luna. Who has the level? She has so much lifesteal now. The fact that she has both the satanic and the level 25 lifesteal tan. She's actually lifestealing for 50% of the damage she does. <laughs> nice um quite the lifesteal. A refresher over on Omni buys the boots of travel. Roll for the pressure shards. So now we've got double hex, double GA, double repel, big oh, spells. Yeah. They need they need a lot of these Omni spells as well because sometimes it's easy to counter the enemy team as an Omni Knight. You just need to GA at the right time. But in this game, there's so much magical stuff going on as well. There's obviously there's Invoker, Phoenix, Shaker, Disruptor. All of them deal tons. But even the Lone Red has Radiance and Mjoln and Maelstrom Mjolnir yet. Ag's time. Yep, now that bear is suddenly way stronger. And of course, if you get picked off on Lone Druid, it doesn't matter as much anymore. Bear is not. The uh Grim and he sent it up top lane. Needs to reach the enemy base. Start split push. You don't realize that the Agonims is up. You could suddenly just have lost half your racks and look over and you're like Shh. Like that, that Shadow Blade Aghanim's Deso build where the bear is just like, I'm invis and I'm now in your base with a BKB as well. Here Why goes not? though, Aegis Luna on your high ground. What do you do? Repelled, repelled BKB satanic Aegis right. Luna. So. The first step is to, to glyph it up and try to stop that. Need to clear the creeps really quickly here. Arcane Rune on Invoker is a pretty good sign that they could maybe fight oh, look here. look at that damage! Yep. 
Holy Lockthorn. shit! Lockthorn doing tons of work. With that Sunray on top, Yapzor thinking about going in again, but there is no backstab for secret Meanwhile, available. They the have bear to has reached on. the target. If they chase right now, they can get Rax top. Oh, seven water drops. In they go. They've got the snowball. Lotus Sword back as they save themselves. Oh it's Fata with a supernova now in the middle of five heroes. The tornado's flying across. Yapzor, can you get into the battle? He's already he used his Echo Slam, but he's already dead. Down goes Fata. Now VB have to chase forward and look for kills. The top Rax is gone. Mid Rax is falling as well. As the lone druid bear is clearing up the dire base, VP need to hunt for kills. They need to catch whoever they can. They've taken down Puppy's Disruptor. That's one, but the buyback from Phoenix opens things up. Mid lane, Glyft, Hex from Pacha. They will kill the bear. Tier 3 is still standing. That is such a big win still for Secret. Even though they whiffed the Shaker ulti there, I think the Rasta Ward stopped him in the end there. But they got the entire top lane, everything cleared out, and the mid tower has 8 HP remaining. <laughs> that the, the TP from Omni did kill the bear once, but of course, three summon was available, and that is no structural damage taken by secret but that is what you have to worry about you had ages cheese and refresher and you goofed failed your push now you're really starting to worry if you're on yeah you, you've got cheese and refresher still but that that ages on luna so important like we saw how quickly she died the first time just the sun ray and bloodthorn very very quickly you dispatched. might you might even want to pass over the uh, refresher to rasta he does have level three wards oh us, getting caught out here. Bloodthorn on him. He dies so quickly. Urgent Mike has BKB. He can turn and fight this if he wants to. Tornado, not gonna work. Thanks to the BKB of no one. The Hex now coming through the four staff mid one, trying to get out of this danger, but he didn't pop his own BKB. So now may be forced to buy back. I don't think so. But VP? There's something going on, you know, on the other side of the map. Oh, there's a bear, is there? Yeah, there's one of those scary bears. So uh, I don't know if they will be able to force the Invoker buyback at all here. They're actually grouping up, looking to take a fight top on the side of Secret. Puppy goes in deep. They forced everyone home. Just the threat of the bear. They saw the damage it dealt. If it did the same amount of damage it did the previous fight, there would not be a base remaining. Same oh, stuff. DD rune. This is extremely big. If Luna takes a DD rune fight, that's why he's not picking it immediately. He won't wait until... It's gonna last long enough during the team fights. So. This game has been oh, yeah. masterminds of Dota fighting out against each other. VP have an experienced lead, but doesn't feel like that really matters at all right now. We're looking at what level 20 talent you were mentioning. Everything the comes down. Shackles duration. Everything comes down to his next fight here. Luna. This is make or break. She has 600 damage per auto attack. She doesn't even care if there was to be any backdoor regen, but there's not. Look at those racks. They just fall immediately to her. One lane. Cannot go for a second one because, well, there's tier 2 tower still. Getting that lane, really important. They can now back out and start only focusing on pushing top. Likewise, we're going to see the bear starting to push out bottom because it has to be that opposite reaction kind of thing when you're defending. The enemy is going one lane. You need to reach their base on the other lane. This is a, very much a race between the lone trade bear and the dire. The shadow blade. Here it comes for the Spirit Bear, and then BKB queued up next, so it is the standard build. Ratty Druid. It has so insanely high attack speed with this build. The Assault Grass giving quite a bit, of course. The Maelstrom turning into Mjolnir later, gonna give so much. Shadow Blade giving some, and then he has the Rabbit Attack Talent, which gives 40 extra on top of it. So 90 attack speed from Rabbit. One looking for something. Gonna find mid one who was around the trees. Mid one and no one. Mm. Very close battle between those two. Ancients here, secret just sticking together, making sure no one gets caught out across the map because, of course, one pick off could lead to VP during, you know, a, a huge push towards your base or even just a big buyback or scout. No one. I'm calling it next best mid player is gonna be called anyone or everyone. <laughs> Or bottom. We're seeing an attempt to kill here. Shaker gonna lead. Gecko in. Supernova's there. The snowball, the snowball save. So Little super quick on it with the meatball dropping now though. Might be enough damage with the Deathling Blast out onto them. That's a big amount of damage, but Yapsor falls. Another tornado from mid one is coming through with the EMP, catching onto Ramses, but Pasha propelled up on the front lines as no one blinks forward, aggressively moving into no end to mid one. There we go with the ice wall. Sun strike throw, but them. nothing to do for mid one's invoker. Phoenix dies. Lone Druid has to retreat and Poppy left high and dry. 
Yeah, he's going to go down. No way that he's going to survive. Resummon used by Ace just now. On the mid lane, they saw the resummon. They're thinking about killing that bear if they could, but of course, Shadowblade going to make it tricky. Buyback was expended by Tusk. Not the biggest buyback, though. Turn yourself too much. And uh, noteworthy is that Tusk has the Snowball uh, Speed talent. That talent actually makes you able to catch people much, much uh, more often. And a godly save. He was so fast at reacting there. As soon as the Shaker ulti comes out, he was there before the second Shaker spawns. Super quick from Lil. Ace brings his bear back. Situation, but he didn't finish off the tier 3 mid, and I don't think these creeps can do it as they're one hit from death. They're not going to be able to do it. He's going to push the next mid creep wave. Mid one TP's out from bottom lane, very close to being caught by no one. The Lincoln Sphere is on its way for Boca. I have a gem on the Rasta against this Shadowblade bear shenanigan. Would be nice to bring it down since Radiant summon was used. Count. Still one minute to go. Look at how farm Solo is. Oh, they're going behind on top. The silence is onto Omni. Hello, Pasha. Can they kill? They can 740 indeed. 740 damage from the Bloodthorn tick at the end. A lot of tick damage. Big crit. Oh, they have... Uh, Bear taking the tier three, but it is a little bit in trouble here. Oh, Roshan is respawning now. Go on, puppy. That's counting. a very early respawn. Teams are probably not expecting to already be up. It really felt like puppy was. There was a check. They know now. Yaps or nose. Radiant. They're definitely looking towards it. And Boker already making his way over. He's going to be the one bringing the most damage to it, of course. The one minute without him, the Omni Knight. They do not know if he has buyback or not. They're not trying to force anything. But this Roshan attempt, out of uh, secrets, BP do. Will they do? Yeah, smoke, smoke was kind of spotted by an observer ward, so we are running. Oh, solo, solo. turning back in. Tank the gank. No, no one with a gem fight. though. Blinking in aggressively, they want to try and fight this, but it is a losing battle. No one forced. A BKB out of him as a tornado, not going to catch. He does get himself away with a quick blink. Virtus Pro, that may have just been a, a little bit of a throw there. Yeah, they lost the gem as well in that fight. I don't know why they wanted to turn that. They didn't quite have the tools. Omni is still dead, but that just shows how important the Roshan is to them. They don't want to concede it without a fight. However, they're going to have to. And this means that there's going to be a refresher on the side of uh, Secret. Something they might even pass on to the Lone Druid in this game. It is, of course, super good on Immobile. Yeah, the extra bear for Lone Druid. Very, very nice. But what do we end up getting? Aegis and refresher on mid ones Invoker while the cheese gets past the ace. Virtus Pro all alive now. They buy back on the Shaman and the Tusk to try and get into battle, but it will. Soon enough, we might be seeing Lone Druid just buy straight up a refresher as well. There. He still has a little bit of upgrading to do. He can still go into the Mjolnir upgrade, of course. The Radiance Tick is going to reveal that his bear was... Maybe the De uh, Deso? Sell the Maelstrom by a Deso, potentially. Being yeah, it, it is bear. possible. It's just that the attack speed is still super nice for you. Mm. Being able to clear waves, I guess. You don't... And he only has a lot of uses, especially against fast ticking stuff like the uh, Spirit Siphon. In general, triggers uh, Mjolnir's very often. Oh, they're gonna reach the high ground though. Split push is n quite in time here by Secret. Like VP are gonna be able to force a fight. This time though, it is them who are fighting into Aegis and Refresher. Pushing up against that, uh, it's a tough order. Ramses They're going again, just full staffing forward. They've got the blink in from no one, trying to get a bit of a catch onto Phoenix. Will the Invoker? Invoker's dropping low, down to half HP. In fact, right clicking away at no one, but he's focusing the bear. The lone druid is dying inside the fountain. He's going to get just far enough in to dodge the ghost. Mega creeps, but claim. mega creeps have been claimed by Virtus Pro. Meanwhile, the bear is in the base. It took mid lane. It's down. They now TP out, trying to defend, and they're going to kill the bear. In onto Ace's little bear and down Man. it does go. So secret now up TP against though, Megas. TP is still dying. She's still over here. She tried to TP out, but he canceled her. I think they managed to get her with a glimpse. Yeah. They got her with a glimpse because of the high ground vision from that ward. I, I don't know what to say. I, I think he should probably have kept running for a little bit. But when you TP out so quickly 
after finishing a push, because obviously there's something you want to do, you want to stop the bear. Sometimes it's easy to, to drop one person. They, uh, they lost their second most important hero. Both of these teams are playing their draft really nicely. Like, itemizations seem, you know, spot on from it's, it's every, everyone involved. It's a game for it, sure. It, it really is just... Mega creeps have been claimed, but that doesn't mean the game is anywhere near over. We're still going to see an attempt here by Secret to push down. All the lanes are in pretty good spots, honestly, so... I haven't seen Megas versus Megas in the longest time in a game I've capped. It's, yeah. it's, it's been quite some time. Mid one will give away his position. Look mid. at all those sentries by VP. They're so prepared for this high ground push. They it's already like, know. Where, no, it's like, where's the bear? Where's the bear? Is he invis? Is he here? Is he there? Is the Shadow Blade Spirit Bear is... Uh, mm, they saw the ward being dropped. They just saw the wards being dropped, so you know they're in the base. All the centers are being they're cleared. Tier fours. Waga. Invoker's hitting from far away. Secret. Are they really doing this? Tier four is about to drop the buyback from Death Prophet. Who's in deep here? It's the Phoenix. Lotus Orb is not going to save you as the Silence will help clear up Farta. And now Secret. Full retreat time, it feels like. Oh, Unless the buyback is the point of travel. TPing in aggressively. Static Storm on solo means he's dropped in the back end. Ace has fallen. He's going to buy back ancient himself. Going but low. the bear, the bear is still going. The Ancient down to half HP. VP need to hold. They need to defend. They need to kill off the bear. And there goes Slam. Here comes Yaptor. The damage from on high. They've cleared up one, two. Look for three. It's Ramses getting a bit of distance now. The Satanic Pop trying to heal himself back up. But the secret squad absolutely ruining VP's chances as they run up forward. Luna moves forward, but Pasha the bear is he's low. He's gonna There's end the it. supernova, but the bear on the throne. Yules up into the air onto the spirit bear, but it's, it's dead or a secret clear up game one. What an absolute match between these two top tier teams. Yeah, the strength of both these teams really showing all the way through. In the end, it's going to be Secret who just in a nail-biting fashion managed